Hello everybody. In this screencast I want to discuss with you how we can write equilibrium uh, constants and equilibria in general from uh, rate equations. And in one of the previous screenshots we discussed that. Uh, so for example we have um, a reversible reaction A is converted into B in a reversible way with the rate constants k1 for the forward and k-1 for the reverse reaction. And we broke down uh, these two reactions in elementary reactions and we were able to write the, the change of the concentration of A per time equals minus k1 times A to the power of m plus k-1, so that's the production rate equation and that is the consumption rate equation. And we said that under certain conditions when the production of A equals the consumption of A then we don't have any changes in the rates so dA over dt is the same as dB over dt equals zero. And uh, what we can do is we can set our uh, equation, our rate equation for dA over dt. We can set this to zero and uh, we get this equation here. We can also then solve this equation for b to the power of n and a uh, to the power of m. And we get this uh, equilibrium equation here. So we get this part here and we can express it by these rate constants k1 over k-1. And this is generally known as the rate, the, the equilibrium constant here, k equilibrium. But this only holds true if there is no change in the rate. That means if the consumption is the same as the production of the compounds. Now let's look at a little bit more complex equilibrium here. So we've got A is in equilibrium with B and B is in equilibrium with C. And this means that there are no changes in the rates. So everything is uh, in equilibrium and everything, the rate changes are zero. So uh, if we want to find the individual uh, equilibria, uh, what we can do is we can break this uh, down and we can say basically b to the power of let's call it n over a to the power of m. This is what we uh, already did in the uh, previous um, slide equals k1 over k minus 1 and this is the uh, equilibrium constant for the first part. We can also uh, write down the uh, equilibrium for the second part. We could have Cp over b to the power of n. So that is this part here. And that would be k2 over k minus 2. And we can call this the equilibrium constant for the second part, k equilibrium 2. Now what happens if we want to find the equilibrium for C P over A M? So the entire equilibrium for this reaction. So what we can do is we can just simply say right we can write this as the first part B to the power of N over a to the power of m times the second part c to the power of p over b to the power of n. And we see that these cancels out and um, we have back c to the power of p divided by a to the power of m. And we can write this as k1 over k minus 1 times k2 over k minus 2. Or we can write this as k equilibrium 1 times k equilibrium 2.